live with Lynn. So if you're here, say hi. If you're watching the replay, be sure to type replay so I know you were here. I'm Lynn Huber. I want to thank you for being out today. So today I'm going to talk about finding hope in uncertain times. You know, there's a lot of uncertainty going around right now. I mean, there is all the time, I guess. You know, whether it's in our personal affairs or, or in our changing and unsteady political climate, that's like got a lot of people freaked out right now. Um, there's, there's a a lot of uncertainty, even in my life, for sure, right now. Um, it's not bad. I mean, you know, obviously the political climate has everybody nervous. But even like in Avon, and the, the Avon company was recently purchased by LG Home and Health. And that's amazing in my mind. I'm really excited about all the changes that are coming up. But, you know, the company now is looking at every aspect of our business and they're making a lot of changes. And so the changes aren't bad. They're just changes. They're different, right? But I have a lot of reps on my team who are, are struggling with the fact that they don't like change and they it's always been this way and I don't, you know, we want it to always be that way, but it's not going to be, right? We have new owners. And so, I mean, I have two cousins who recently lost their jobs and they're struggling with uncertainty, obviously. I mean, I don't understand why companies always seem to lay people off right right at the holidays but <clears throat> i guess it's because it's the end of the year i don't know but so anyway i get it right i mean you might also be having things happening in your life that you're not sure about and anytime there's change it can be scary but you know what it can also be exciting it, you know so it can be a time of dread or it can be a time of hope and the problem is is that most of us when we when we're dealing with uncertainty, most of us have what we the the ways that we deal with it are self defeating. They're not always good, and that's what I wanted to talk about today. So, when we face an uncertain future, you know, we often resort to feeling anxious. We worry. We maybe we complain or we're being negative about about events that might never even occur. You know, we're we're always looking for the what if, what if, what if, and and we think the worst. But even even horrible things like losing your job and the holidays, that, that is horrible. I you know, I, I am not saying it's not, but but it could turn out to be the best thing that ever happened to you. You could end up with a much better job. So so worrying about it and complaining and you know about things that may or may not even happen, that doesn't always help you, right? Instead, you wanna meet uncertain times with hope and resilience. You know, we need to develop those kinds of attitudes if we want to be successful in the face of ups and downs in our lives. So what does hope mean? <clears throat> well, think about how you handle difficult situations, right? Do you offer platitudes like, um, I hope everything will work out, you know? Unfortunately, this is just a way, a way of disengaging or checking out and not having to deal with it. Right? True hope comes from actually a much deeper source inside of you. In your core, there's vital qualities that can help you determine how much you feel about how much hope you feel, and as well as what how much hope you can offer to others. And it's an essential co component in facing any kind of uncertainty. You know, hope it, hope can make all the difference, whether you're facing layoffs or promotions or moving or even <clears throat> to the current state of the world. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know what's with my throat. But so anyway, hope has three primary qualities, right? It has strength. You draw from inner strength to tap into your personal powers. It has resilience. You bounce back when you're faced with setbacks and obstacles. And it has optimum, optimism, if I could say the word, optimism. You stay positive despite the challenges ahead of you, right? So these are, these are just the opposite of pessimism and complaining and worry, right? Rather than being a self-defeatist, you can be strong, resilient, and optimistic, and in this way, you can improve your self-esteem. You know, hope is essential for handling a crisis, but it can also serve as your core value every day. Uncertainty happens every day, all throughout our day. You know, we, we run into uncertainty, whether it's a personal issue, a business issue, um, a national event, or even a global event. The situation doesn't even necessarily need to be negative. Um, like it could be a promotion. You could It could be good news, right? But it's just any time that something is changing, there's always uncertainty and excitement. Even, you know, it could be even like starting your own business. You know, that comes with a lot of uncertainty or, start, or, or excitement too, right? So let's take a look at those qualities that I just mentioned. So the first one was strength. 
So most of us are all too willing to give away our power. You know, what could be a more hopeless situation, though, than being without power? You know, this can happen both in business and in personal relationships. You can find yourself going along with something you would disagree with just because you don't have the strength or the power to speak up. That's not good. Retaining power means that you stand up for yourself. And then you can overcome the resistance and you can turn a catastrophe into an opportunity because you have the power. You know, true strength is the core of your being. It's a quiet calm that isn't disturbed by the events or the emotions that's happening, right? Inner strength, self-power is going gonna, is gonna to anchor you, it's going to uplift you, and it's going to encourage you. So you want to definitely have strength. Then the second one was resilience. So often we see that we see people being celebrated like in the in the news for reaching 100 years old right they're always happy to share the secret to their long life they all have different secrets you know some of them from a cigarette and a glass of whiskey every day to three glasses of red wine a week you know but the truth is they didn't win the gene pool lottery and they weren't immune to the woes of life it's just that they were resilient they faced hard times trust me they did but they bounced back they shook off defeat at every turn and being resilient is the true secret to avoiding victimhood because it, it's not about positive thinking so much when we're faced with sadness it's healthy to deal with that sadness obviously if we lose a loved one that grief is natural right we're gonna we're gonna grieve we're gonna feel sad that's totally okay but resilience and and overcoming adversity comes from a strong sense of self so you allow yourself to grieve you allow yourself to feel sad but then you are resilient and you bounce back and you don't allow yourself to stay there too long that's the key you don't allow yourself to stay there and then the third one was optimism so you know we hear we hear all the time, society teaches us that life can be difficult and that struggling is the norm. And almost that it's, that it's um, um, struggling is something to be proud of, you know? And society wants, society wants us to believe that the safest place for us is behind a wall, right? And when you're, when you're dealing with real struggles like that, sometimes optimism feels foolish and unrealistic, you know? But when we, pe I mean, if you even go back to the Hitler days, people who were in the concentration camps, they, they were horrible. They were treated horribly, but they still had optimism, right? So a lot of times when we meet people who are truly optimistic, we tend to be jealous of their cheerfulness. Attitudes of pessimism, skepticism, and cynicism, they come from fear and distress. So life can take care of itself, and that's the attitude of optimism. Optimism isn't that you, you know, you things might truly feel bleak to you. You might feel like you have no other option, but optimism is knowing that somehow you're gonna get through this. You're gonna you're gonna make it and you're gonna you're gonna keep your power and you're gonna be resilient and you're gonna make it through this. So finding hope in those uncertain times, it's easier than you think. It literally is within you. We all have it. We just need to make that decision that we are gonna be, we're gonna get there, we're gonna get through it. We are gonna be, we're gonna come from a period of strength, we're gonna be resilient and we're gonna have optimism. So hey, what about you? How do you get through this? How do you, what, where do you find hope when um, things are scary or when, when you're in uncertain times? How do, get, let me know below. I would love to hear your thoughts. I would love to hear what you do. Anyway, that's what I have for you today. Thanks for being here with me today. Hope you have a great day. Talk to you soon.